it's been a tough year and uh to spend time with you guys it was amazing this year but like i've been saying all along i was spending time at home for the wrong reasons and for that uh, i want to apologize uh, i i deserve what happened this year it was something that it's something that i'm not proud of it but you know we went through the whole process with the uh, commissioner's office office the department of investigations and at the end you know I got my penalty and I serve it. Um, I want to I want to apologize to the organization to put him in such a, a tough spot coming into the season. You know, I never thought that that's what was going to was going to happen. I, I never thought I was going to be in that situation, but I was and uh, watching from afar. And like I told Heim and I told everybody else, the whole group, when we decided to part ways, you know, sorry for, for what happened and sorry for, for what happened during the year. Uh, I think, you know, as a leader, as a, as a person that, you know, enjoys the game and loves to manage, you know, I put this organization in a tough spot. And for that, I'm sorry. Uh, for the base, for base, to baseball, the baseball fans, you know, I'm here. You know, I was humble by this whole situation. Uh, I learned a lot throughout the year. And uh, a lot of people were saying that, Okay, you spend time with your family. That was good, but like I said before, it was great for them. It was great for me, but I was there for the wrong reasons. I'm not proud of that. And uh, I want to make sure everybody knows that this situation is part of who I am. You know, for the rest of my career, as a man, I have to deal with it. I don't want people to make it seem like it's a great comeback story. I don't want that. I actually going to use this bad experience to make people better starting at home with Xander, Isander, and Camila. You know, the process started early in the year, and we're going to keep continuing. I know there's a lot of people that I disappointed, and for that I'm sorry. And also telling those people that, hey, I'm still Alex. I made a mistake. I still love the game. I still love what I do. And I promise you that from, you know, now on, you know, I'm going to use this experience the right way. I'm not proud of it. I'm not happy about it, but we have to move on. I'm happy to be back home. This is the place I really enjoy to work. And um, I appreciate um, John, Tom, Linda, Mike, Sam for the opportunity, Heim for the whole process. You know, it wasn't easy, but it was as genuine as possible. And uh, I think, you know, we, we, we worked together a little bit last year and I think our, our working relationship is going to keep getting better. And I think our personal relationship is already better. BOH, thank you. Raquel, Zach, Eddie, I love you. Thank you for trusting me. And let's get back to work. Honestly, when, when the suspension happened, this is the last thing I was thinking. You know, I, I needed to take care of a lot of things on a personal level, take care of my family. And... You know, baseball was far away from, from my thoughts. Um, I got a phone call from, from Heim, you know, after a few days after World Series. I don't even know, you know, the specific when it was. It was a text and then a phone call, and we started talking. And, you know, um, we decided that we, we were going to talk. And like I told Heim and BOH, you know, I, I never saw that day coming. But it happened, and little by little, you know, the conversations got deeper and deeper, and, and they made the decision. But uh, honestly, early in the year, throughout the year, to be here right now talking to you, Johnny, that was – that I never thought it was going to happen. As far as uh, becoming world champions again, there's a process. There's a process in place, uh, and we got some talented players, but we got work to do. Um, as you know, I'm a baseball fan, so, you know, throughout the summer I watch a lot of games, uh, although some people don't believe that, but I did. And uh, there's a few things that I watch, not only from, from this organization, but others, and I have some ideas to, to keep getting better. So we, we're, we're in a process right now to keep getting better, and if we do the things that we have to do, we'll see where it takes us. I learned <laughs> – well, I knew I, I was going to miss a game, as you know, Pete. And, uh, you know, 
is my passion. I've been doing this since I, I, I've been around the game since I was four years old, you know, and I miss the game. At the same time, you know, um, I made some bad decisions and, and you got to take ownership. And uh, just being able to be a dad, obviously the kids, you know, they're, they're still three. They, they don't understand what was going on right now, but some deep conversations with my daughter, with Angelica, you know, with my mom, talking to Joey throughout the year, you know, uh, how wrong I was. And uh, the only thing I can do now is getting better. And uh, I will be better. You know, I'm surrounded by a team that they're going to help me out and uh, we're going to keep mo moving forward. Thank you, Pete. Next question comes from Ian Brown. Hey, Alex, uh, you, you just said that you didn't think you were going to be back in this spot. Um, you know, what made you think that? And, uh, you know, what, what do you think changed that? Um, I mean, the suspension, to be honest with you. And uh, – Going into the season, that's that was like – I knew I wanted to come back to the game, but I didn't know how fast, you know. There was uh, a lot of talk within the family, and, and you put him first. And this is not – like like I always said, this is not an easy place, you know, here in Boston. There, there's some other places, too, that it was going to be, quote, unquote, tough. But talking to them – uh, we were very open-minded, you know, little by little, you know, they, they understood, you know, that probably not this year, but probably in two years or three years, something was going to, was going to open up and uh, there was a chance to get back to the game. But, you know, honestly, like I said before, so soon, you know, I, I never saw it, but I think it started with the family. They, they understand where we at now and what we want to accomplish, not only, in the professional life, but as a person, there's a lot of things that we're very excited that might happen, you know, in the next few months as far as the family. And, and, and I think this is part of it. And that's the reason I, I you know, when, B, uh, when, when Haim and BOH text me and call me, I was like, you know what, let's talk and see where it takes us. And here we are, you know, we're in home play of Fenway, Fenway Park. From my NTC, you know, I, I was fortunate that you know, Haim called me, is like, let's talk. You know, I, I think that was, regardless of, of the result, you know, I, I think us being able to talk and go over stuff and uh, it was intense, it was genuine, it, it, it was tough, you know, because there were some tough questions and, uh, you know, we spent a lot of time together, you know, BOH was part of the process too. And then... I kind of like, okay, you know, there's, there's a chance, you know, I, I just wanted to talk to him and, and go over a few, a few things. Uh, little by little, you know, uh, I start feeling a little bit anxious, you know, because they were going through the process. And for me, it was different because I didn't have a job, you know, it's like, okay, if it, this doesn't happen, we'll be okay. Right. You know, you're spending time with the family, but uh, just to, to, to know that, they talked to me and then the process started. You start looking around and, and, and you see the stuff at the house and you're like, hey, there's a, there's a chance. But I wasn't 100% sure this was going to happen. You know, uh, we actually had another conversation that uh, I think was very positive, you know, for both of us. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't know till, till the last, I mean, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday evening, Thursday afternoon. So, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, the way I put it, TC, I was fortunate that I was going to be able to talk to them. And uh, I'm just, you know, happy that, you know, I'm the guy that he decided to go with. And, um, you know, I'm not going to disappoint him. I had some conversations with players about this. And it's something that uh, if I didn't feel, in, 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 in a personal note, if, if I didn't feel prepared for it was coming, I – you know, I probably would have declined a phone call or text. I say, you know what, I'm, uh, I'm not ready for this. You know, um, thank you, but no thanks. You know, and uh, I know it's going to be tough in certain places, but I understand. You know, um, as long as uh, we stay together and, and I surround myself with people that they're going to be in my corner and understanding that, hey, some of what's going to happen is for me. You know, it's personally for me. I. I can deal with that. You know, my players, they have a job to do. The organization, 
They can do everything possible to keep getting better. I think I'll be okay. I'll be okay. You know, uh, those conversations probably were deeper with the family. And um, they, we decided as a family that, yeah, you know, let's, let's do this. There's going to be some great days. There's going to be some tough days. But we're going to stick together and we're going to keep moving forward.